Hello, thanks for joining me again on another Gnarly Carl YouTube video. I'm just going to walk right into my trenchless sewer pipe replacement trailer where I have the Milwaukee MX 14 inch cutoff machine. Got it in this nice foam lined Pelican case. I'm just going to go over a quick overview on this video, bring it to your attention about uh, the basics, okay? So it's not for everybody, it's not for every job, of course. I it feels a little lighter than a gas machine, but definitely heavier than an electric plug-in. The battery's actually on it here. So we're just going to run it up just to get an idea of what it sounds like and what it looks like when it's running in the middle of nowhere. Relax, I'm going to get to a video of actually cutting cement so you can see what it looks like in action. Obviously, I'm not going to leave you hanging. Yeah, that looks nice. So then we have the batteries. I'm gonna bring out the batteries for you to see. They're pretty good size. It is MX after all. So those are the larger batteries. I got actually three of them, so I can use it in rotation when I'm cutting cement in the basement. There's a compact MX batteries. One of the batteries, so I believe those are the two sizes I have. The compact is more for the lower uh, energy demanding machines like a core drill, and I kind of forget what else is out there, but uh, getting a little dirty, but not dirty enough that I can't actually see the label. Surprise, surprise. So here we go. This is actually the very first time I was cutting with the MX Fuel in the basement, and that's actually pretty much all the use I have for the MX for this machine. Uh, for obvious reasons, you don't want fumes in a basement. There's actually people living in the house right now. So I've got water. I've got no fumes. So it's pretty cool. And this is really the only method I like using now that I have this as an option, especially versus gas but also versus electric because you plug electric saw and you're popping breakers if you're lucky otherwise these older homes have fuses and then it's even bigger pain so this is nice but this is actually in real speed obviously you sp saw it sped up a little bit ago and I got plastic protecting it all around and this is actually still on one battery okay just to make that clear this is one battery still one battery Mm, see that little blue light? That means it's got Bluetooth connectivity to your phone so you can track it and all that good stuff. So I haven't really been keeping track, but that was at least four and a half, five inch slab I'm going through. So that's like three feet right there, and again, I'm still on one battery, so we'll speed it up just so that you can uh, kind of get an idea of what the battery, how long the battery will last, and I believe right about now I hear it kind of dying down, and then it stops. Yep. So let's take a look, and then the battery will flash red, show you that it's low and or overheated. I'm not sure which it is, but regardless, i got to swap out batteries and continue. Um, so again, these are for this is for basement work. You don't want to use this outside where you got a long run. If you got a little bit of work to do, yeah, it's perfect. You know, just pop it out, get it going. No fumes, no gas, no electric, blah blah blah. So put a new battery on, and then we're back in business. Uh, but so I use this for the pipe burst systems that I install. And what is pipe burst? I'm gonna have to segue into another video to show you exactly what that's about because I do have some cool footage of that, and it just slips right in. The battery slips right in right there. Uh, four bars ready to go turn the water back on hit the button uh, there's no trigger lock if you were curious that's just kind of how it goes I suppose for safety um, okay look and at and here's the mess we're left with yeah I'm mess. crack a few eggs to make an omelet so there you go pipe burst spoiler alert and again this is another pipe burst uh, job that I'm doing cutting open the slab the previous video was a basement this video is actually a slab home and uh, what you see, the yellow stuff you see around the machine is, uh, oh look, there's the um, uh, the model number. So yeah, it's about $2,500 for two batteries here. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's go. Homeowner had actually already started cutting open the cement here, just by this, right by my saw. Um, realized it was a bigger deal than they wanted to get involved with and got a hold of us. And uh, what we're going to do, this is basically the middle of the house, so we're going to pipe burst and it's a three inch cast iron line. We're gonna pipe burst so we can up, upsize it to four inch so it's going through half the house and underneath a uh, sidewalk, patio, that sort of thing. Um, 
I'm going to have, like I said, I'm going to have to segue this into another video in the coming days or weeks about the actual pipe burst. Uh, trenchless sewer pipe replacement. Uh, so, you get the idea. Not much more to see here, uh, except maybe talk about the longevity of the batteries. Like you saw it cut about five feet and then it had to swap out batteries. You know, um, uh, some people... Uh, maybe like to just use a jackhammer so that uh, you know they, they don't have to worry about dust going everywhere but you still got to worry about that with jackhammers that I know for sure um, but the batteries you know it's battery what, what, what do you expect they're not gonna last you know very long it's like a 15 20 minutes and then they're out when you're going through this slick uh, thick of slab um, but I got three batteries in rotation it, kind of, it for the most part keeps up you know you got a little bit of time between changing out batteries say if you gotta break up a little bit of the cement um, uh, do a little of this and that or whatever to get prepared for the next step so all in all it worked out really well to, to cycle between three batteries um, and I had no problem cutting open the little uh, opening that we needed to get in there so basically once I cut open this slab of cement pull out the pull out the chunks of cement dig out this uh, the stone to get to the sewer line then I can push through a cable and on the other end of the cables outside the house with a machine that pulls the cable through, pulls pulls the pipe in place. Anyways, I'll have to get to that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep giving you these cliffhangers. I know. Uh, so that breaks it apart. And then I just dig, find the sewer pipe. There you go. There you go. Cool animation, too, from Milwaukee Tool. Thank you. Credit where credit is due. Hope you enjoyed. This is a very awesome, awesome, awesome tool for my use, not for everybody else. Not for everybody, you know, doing a lot of concrete sawing. It's not going to last you very long, so... Something for you to, another tool in your arsenal. Very, very cool. Very, very useful for me. Appreciate you following along. And, uh, you know, I'm going to try to get to that trenchless sewer pipe video very soon. Talk to you later.